what's up guys oh my god okay guys so update of from last week so i took that dreadful proctored exam the comp predictor that test was hard so i took the test right and i cried halfway through the test i cried i gave up in my heart i said you know what i failed this test because i knew that i was guessing all the way through on the majority of the questions it was 180 questions and my heart sank i said god you know before i took the test i prayed i'm like god please help me because i studied for this it's not like i'm asking you to give me a miracle I did the work, I put the work in. So it, I was praying, I was like, God help me. So after the test, I'm looking, I'm home y'all, I'm coming back from the doctor because now I have the time to actually go. So, so after the test, I'm looking at the finalized report and I'm looking for that 90 percentile because that's what I need to pass the program. Now, with my school, you have to pass this exit exam to pass the program. And I'm sure other schools have the same requirement. So I'm like, okay, God, I need to pass. I want to pass on the first try because the second, doing it a second time is just going to kill my spirit. And I just can't, I just can't take that pressure of knowing that if I don't pass it this time, the second time around, I'm done and I'm through and I got to go now, sign up for another program and try to do it because I'm done with this school. And I'm like, God, I don't want that happening to me. I put in too, too much sacrifice here. So I'm, and I'm looking, I'm like, okay, where is this percentile that I need? And I'm looking, I'm looking, okay, so my score was 85.3. And, I, and that's different from, I, I believe, from the other proctored exams because we have to fall within a certain percentile and I didn't know what that consists of. So I was like, okay, where is this percentile that I'm looking for? And I saw a 67. And my heart sank again, and I'm like, I knew it. I knew I failed this test. And but that that said national above it, so I'm like, okay, this can't be it. So there was one another number with an exclamation point next to it. So I clicked on it, and I'm reading what that number entails, and I'm like, okay, this is it. And I'm looking, and then I looked at the number next to it, guys, and it said a 99 percent. I was in the 99 percentile of passing the NCLEX, and. The, I started laughing and crying again because I'm like, oh my God, I passed. On the first trial, I passed and I'm in a nine, the highest percentile. And I was just so happy. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. The hardest part is done. I am officially done. And I was just so happy. And, and you know what? A lot of people said, all my other classmates, they went through too. They passed, thank God. And they were saying they thought they failed a lot of people say the same thing about, you know, that's the same testimony that people give, you know, they thought they failed too, but in actuality they passed. So, guys, yeah, I don't know how happy I am that I passed this test. Now what is left is just the, fin the remainder of the semester, which is another class that I have to take is called adult three and it's just a continuation of this semester because we just have to go to the hospital and do our preceptorship and then after that it is done and when that is finished i get my sit pass and i can go on and sit for the nclex i am also taking another class which is a leadership class and it's just a one credit class I have not cracked open the book. And remember I was telling y'all that I have to take the proctor exam on that. And I was going to wait till Tuesday, which is tomorrow to take it. Well, I actually took it and I did fail it because I knew it was just, I was just taking the chance. So I took it last, I took it on Friday and I failed it. So I have to take it again tomorrow. I have an option of taking it tomorrow or take it on the retake day. I just might just take it tomorrow and just get it over with. So I don't have to worry about any more exams. I do have another unit test for this exam, but that's on December 1st, but it's open book. I'm not worried about this class. It's just a one credit class and I do have to pass it, you know, but it's not like the med surge class that I have to pass, you know. 
I'm at a 94 in this class, even if I don't do well on the test that's coming up on December 4th, I still, I'm still i still going to pass the class. So I'm not even worried. I'm not even stressing over this class. But I'm going to, I'm just going to take it tomorrow. With this, failing the proctor doesn't take any points away. I just don't get any additional points. So I'm not really worried about it. I don't care if I fail again tomorrow. But I'm going to try my best and give it my all. I'm going to go do some practice questions and study and brush up on some concepts that I wasn't really sure about and just going to take the test but I'm just so happy that I'm done my family gets to have me back I get to have my family back yesterday we went to the park and we just enjoyed the day together and I am just so happy that I can breathe I can sit and drink some tea I can watch Christmas movies oh my gosh I'm so happy I can watch Christmas movies and not feel guilty about having to study anything now I do still have to study because I still have to prepare to take the NCLEX but it's not like that mandatory I must and I have to or else type of mentality that I have with you know that comes with nursing school I'm just so happy that it is done you know like Jesus said it is finished <laughs> it's finished and I'm just so happy so it's getting hot in this car because of the sun that is beating down but it's cold outside does that make sense so let me just go. I'm going to go in the house and, you know, start doing some more review questions for this test that I have tomorrow and just kind of like brush up on stuff and watch a Christmas movie in between. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.